the world has long known of the incredible human rights violations committed against the people of Burma by the military government called the junta. These crimes have been discussed and people have talked about them, but for the first time in a report that Physicians for Human Rights issued last month after a year-long investigation, the facts of the crimes against humanity are indisputable. Over 30 incredibly brave investigators risk their lives to go into Burma and gather evidence from over 600 households of incredible human rights violations that have happened to members of their home in the past year alone. Imagine, over 90% of those visited suffered forced labor, building bridges, carrying military food or military's weapons, kids, kids under the age of 12 and 13, it's not just forced labor, but the impact of forced labor, the impact of enslavement on a community means women are raped that are left alone, children don't go to school, and communities begin to deteriorate. The report indicates that in the last year alone, nearly 3% of the population suffered rape. Men, women, boys and girls were raped at the hands primarily of the military. All of us have known about these violations, but now we have the facts. In our report, the foreword was signed by Archbishop Desmond Tutu and Chief Justice Richard Goldstone. And I think Desmond Tutu says it best when he notes, this report embodies the voices of Chin survivors of these atrocities and lets us hear an enslaved and brutalized population asking for assistance in the struggle for justice, for freedom, and for life itself. In January, the Burmese government went before the United Nations in its periodic human rights review where their record of human rights is investigated. Prior to that meeting, I went to Geneva with colleagues to talk to government leaders and to many international agencies asking them to call upon the United Nations to hold a commission of inquiry into the violations by the Burmese government. That message continues to need to be told and it can only be told through facts like we've issued and through the voice of others that care like you. As long as this country is allowed to oppress its people, we continue to allow those crimes to continue ourselves. And none of us, none of us, have the credentials to abstain from helping the people of Burma.